what's good guys welcome back to my channel for today's video is going to be how to have a good aim okay i definitely do not have the best aim in the whole world but we'll see about that however my name is sandra sancho and we'll get to the video this is like number one point the, before you even start the game you need to feature sensitivity you have to go with what you're comfortable with okay and we're going to do a record check basically shoot at a target and then don't control the gun just let it go all the way up or to the left or right to wherever it goes and then you can see how you can control it when next you're shooting if you do this practice range thing just shoot at the start thing and then this mini target will pop up and then you have to shoot them this actually checks up your reaction time because not a lot of people would have the uh, a really really good reaction time you know when you see an enemy the amount of time it takes for you to react and it also depends on your cursor placement you see the little dot in the middle of your screen yeah you have to place it where you think an enemy is going to come from so you see when you're like going past doors just place it right there because when you see an enemy it reduces the time you would take to react if that makes sense so you, instead of if it's at the top top you would obviously take time dragging it to where the enemy is which an enemy would possibly be by the door so just leave it by that door or um where you suspect an enemy would come from if that makes sense also you have to add movement to um your shootings because obviously you don't just stand in one place sometimes you have to but when you're engaging people one v one you just have to move around obviously you're trying to touch the left at the same time don't stand <laughs> but um yeah if you're doing left and right the jump shot slide shot the if you're flying in the air however you wish your movement that's still up to you and what you're comfortable with just make sure that when you're done flying you still have to get the tiger what's the point flying up and down and you're missing your shot okay i'm talking to myself because this is me <laughs> this is me because i'm just moving around without getting my tiger so please don't make the same mistake if you're trying to do a whole lot of movement make sure that your sensitivity is right to still target the um the the object or the enemy that you're trying to get okay Right, listen guys, long range practice is, uh, not a lot of people do this, I can't lie, like, I don't do this unless, um, I'm not even when I'm planning to do a tournament, this is so important that we miss it out, the long range gunfight, we, okay, you know when you're shooting at someone and then all of a sudden they, they just turn around to shoot you back, it's not pain, it's not your network, it's your damn aim, you, you have to fix it, okay, you see when, um, okay, so you, obviously I'm practicing to like get my shot back, sometimes you will have to like move your um, crosshair placement a little bit at the top, this is what I found out about my aim, okay? I don't know about yours, and I'm saying you have to find it out. You need to do these things. This is best to practice um, shooting or how to get, get good aims because this thing's don't shoot back at you. So basically, you don't have anything to worry about. You just gotta practice and be perfect at what you're doing. So you do the long range ones because you, your, your shots basically have to be stable. Don't move it around too much. Just, just focus it. You have to focus, okay? That's the only way you can get it. I don't know how else to relate this but yeah also if you're doing this i would recommend that you use different guns obviously i've used the m13 the ak the whatever gun you you would like to use don't forget to check the recoil okay it's really important that you know where the gun goes so use different guns to practice so you can obviously be stabilized okay for people that use just one gun okay sometimes when you're playing screams they might be able to ban a gun and then you're left with oh there's nothing there's not there's no more guns to use don't be that guy okay i'm that guy but yeah don't be me basically so you try use different guns get used to whichever one you're using and slow with it basically obviously don't forget to do movement jump shot whatever okay and it's the gameplay time all right so i've obviously asked one of my favorite people um to help me do a 1v1 but actually back yeah you have to practice the recoil and now i need to know that i'll bring it back right you see that 
that is amazing just it's lovely to watch okay i don't care what anyone else says but once you're able to hit your shots that's it i just wanted to mention that um for this this particular gameplay i had to reduce my sensitivity because i found out that if you have a lower sensitivity you have a um not that you have a best aim because obviously it still depends on what you're used to but you hit more of your shots because it doesn't go everywhere if your sensitivity is high like mine you would go everywhere and yes i noticed it but with a lower sensitivity like this one you would see that the shots will be confined to the object that you're shooting so it doesn't go around it just as long as you're able to um to stabilize it like hold it down to where the object subject yeah whatever you want to use <laughs> to wherever or to whoever you're shooting yeah that's going to be and you see that see that exactly what i'm saying just hold it down and your aim is you know, your aim will be spot on but also i want to say your heat fire as well is going to be confined just have a lot of sensitivity and practice your aim trust me you would do so well with it um i'm not saying copy other people's things because yeah this is what other people do that you think is right but it's not right you copy everyone else's sensitivity if they were using an ipad you'd be using an ipad and it's not the same with a phone sensitivity don't don't make that mistake just go with whatever works for you as long as you're able to move around hit your shot that's all you need you just have to get better by practicing okay you're not get, you're not gonna get better in one day i feel like i'm doing too much but yeah this video is going to be long but um i'm just gonna say to you guys if you just started playing this game give it time okay and you'll be better thank you guys so much